Hello friends and welcome to week three of our winter mystery quilt along. This week we will be assembling six units utilizing the half square triangles that we made last week in week two and the four inch squares that we cut in week one. Please ensure that you have printed off your week three instructions and follow them very carefully as you are making your units. This step is imperative that you get the correct fabric in the correct positioning so that the quilt has the proper final result. With our unit one, we are going to use four A squares and one B square. Sew the two top squares together, utilizing a quarter inch seam, and then sew the bottom two squares together using a quarter inch seam, and then sew the top to the bottom. You will make four unit one squares. Give them a good thorough pressing before moving on to the next step. With our unit two, we will take two CB half square triangles and two AB half square triangles. Lay them out as shown. With a quarter inch seam, sew the top two squares and then sew the bottom two squares and then sew the top to the bottom. Again, sew the top two squares with a quarter inch seam, then sew the bottom two squares with a quarter inch seam. And then sew the top to the bottom with a quarter inch seam. Keep sewing until you've made eight units. And there you have eight unit number twos. Make sure you press them well before moving on to the next step. For unit number three, you will use two AB half square triangles, one BC half square triangle, and one B square. Lay them out as indicated in the diagram for unit number three in your pattern. With a quarter inch seam, sew the two AB squares together. With a quarter inch seam, sew the BC half square triangle and B square together. With a quarter inch seam, sew the top portion to the bottom portion. And there you have four unit number threes. Press well before moving on to the next step. For unit number four, you will use two AB half square triangles, one CB half square triangle, and one B square. Lay them out as per the diagram unit number four in your pattern. With a quarter inch seam, Sew together your two AB half square triangles. With a quarter inch seam, sew together your B square and your CB half square triangle. Sew together the top and bottom portions with a quarter inch seam. And there you have four unit number fours. Press well before moving on to the next step. For unit number five, you will use four AB half square triangles. Same as before, we will sew the top two squares with a quarter inch seam, then the bottom two squares with a quarter inch seam, and then sew the top 
to the bottom with a quarter inch seam. You will make one unit five. For unit six, you will use one CB half square triangle, two A squares, and one B square. Lay out as per your pattern diagram unit number six. First sew the CB half square triangle to the A square. Now sew the A and B squares together. With a quarter inch seam, sew the top and bottom portions together. And there you've made four unit number six. Press them well before setting them aside. And that's all for week three. Thanks so much for participating in our winter mystery. And if you have any questions or comments, please add them to the description box below so that everyone participating in the program can take advantage of any answers or tips provided.